graduate of West High School in Knoxville, is on trial right now, accused of supporting the terror group ISIS. Prosecutors say Benjamin Carpenter translated ISIS propaganda, and his work allowed terrorists to spread their message in English. And for the first time, we are getting a look at that propaganda and text messages investigators found. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot explains. In court with his hair tied back in a gray suit and both parents watching, Benjamin Carpenter faces charges he provided material support for ISIS. As long as they would release something in Arabic and I would find that beneficial and we would translate it. Letters entered in as exhibits to the court record show Benjamin Carpenter was communicating with people overseas from the Inskip area of North Knoxville. Investigators submitted social media messages. One of them shows Carpenter sending the U.S. Army munitions handbook to his group. Prosecutors say he helped run a weekly publication spreading ISIS propaganda. The words that are used are extraordinarily dehumanizing. Professor Paul Kamalnik is a terrorism expert at ETSU. It gives you a clear conscience in destroying people who you believe to be the enemy of God. Prosecutors say Carpenter, also known as Abu Hamza, supported ISIS through propaganda. ISIS considers media to be no less important than engaging its battle. And the power of words is sharper than atomic bombs. Carpenter says he's protected by free speech. It represents the Islamic State worldview and their modus operandi. In court Tuesday, lawyers asked jurors if anyone was offended by Islam, if they were personally affected by terrorism, and if they'd be able to find Carpenter not guilty, even if they're offended by ISIS. Reporting from Knoxville, I'm Vinay Simlot. And the jury is now seated and sworn. The terrorism expert we heard from says this case will help us understand the motivation of someone born and raised in America who then helped spread the word of a terror group.